Dave, you said the performance itself wasn't perfect on Saturday, but surely that was the perfect response to a challenging few weeks. It was a brilliant response, as you say. Um, at least I don't think any performance is ever going to be perfect. There's always bits you can do, you can do better. But um, I'd be delighted if we come as close to that every every week uh, in terms of how we go about our stuff, and that's the the most important thing. Um, regardless of the result, and it's always easy to look at the result in terms of the significance into of the goals we scored. Um, but the performance was back to what we want to be and, and how we want to be, um, I suppose, looked at in terms of our, our team dynamic, our team performance. And if that had not brought the result that we'd got or what we hoped for, then at some point that becomes acceptable, even though we're also competitive and want to win every game. You mentioned that win or lose, you don't tend to dwell on the outcome of games for too long. How important now is it to not get too carried away after a result like that? No, we'll, we'll not get carried away. Um, if ever you need reminders in, in football, we've maybe had that over the past the past few weeks. Um, it's certainly not something we, like I say, overly dwell on. Um, we moved on quickly from the Wednesday, hence the, the turnaround. We, I suppose, reiterated what we're good at and what we've become accustomed to over the last sort of 18 months, two years, um, and tried to carry it out on Saturday, just as... When Saturday's finished, we close that down on, on Monday, um, highlight the positives and then move quickly on to what is a completely different game this, this weekend. Regardless of results, you are guaranteed to be top of the table on Christmas Day. It's the first time since the 60s. How much of a psychological boost does that give you as a group? It's great to be top of the league, but it, it's not really a psychological boost. We'll, we'll have, I'll take after Friday's game, we're halfway through the season um, and we've had a, a good half. We try and segment things a little bit more than that. Um, we've had a, like I say, we've had a good first half. Um, but from this point, the second half becomes becomes more important. Um, and I suppose what we want to do is try and replicate what we did last year, because our second half of our season last year was, was brilliant. And if we can do that, then we'll be very close to, if not at the, at the same point where we are where we are now, which is where we want to be in, in April. Um, I would love to be there through January, February, March, but ultimately, if that's not the case, and we know we're in around it at the back end of the season, that's that's the ultimate ultimate aim for us, and hopefully we can achieve that objective. We've had a tough run of games over the festive period, but also a real opportunity to take points off some direct rivals. What's the key to maintaining that focus over the festive period? Uh, it, it's pretty easy to maintain, maintain focus, really. Um, it's always there's always challenges away from away from the football club, if you like, but. The way the games are over Christmas, you spend most of the time, most of your time here anyway, um, and the games roll on. And I, I'd hope that the work that we've done over not just this season, last season, and the, and the season before, um, in terms of closing games down and moving on to the next one, um, become more important now because we we go. Friday, Tuesday, Friday, Monday, um, and, and it's a quick turnaround in. For us, what is a, 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 a smaller squad than, than we'd all hope in terms of the injuries we've got? Like I say, four important games against four teams that are competing up near the top of the table. That brings challenge, but brings, brings real opportunity um, and one that we want to try and take. Just looking ahead to tomorrow, Friday night under the lights, usually a, a special atmosphere. You called upon the supporters ahead of last weekend's game. Is it very much a case of more of the same, please? Absolutely, it'll be a brilliant atmosphere. I've said in my, my programme notes, um, two of the biggest, if not the biggest, clubs in the in the league, and people will argue about that. But in terms of um, in terms of history, in terms of size of clubs, in terms of level that both have played at previously, um, a real a real big game. Knots will travel in the, in their numbers, and and the atmosphere we had against them in the last time we played them was fantastic. And I'm sure tomorrow will be, will be no different. Um, they're a good team. Um, Luke's done a brilliant job in getting them out of out of the national league and into into this level. Um, so we know it'll be it'll be tough, um, but it's a game that we're, we're really looking forward to. A completely different challenge, I suppose, really epitomises the the different challenges that this league brings um, from a, a Saturday to a Friday. Good polar opposites in terms of how uh, how Sutton set up and play, and turn, and and then how not set up and play. So a different uh, challenge for us, but one that. We're really, really looking forward to an opportunity again to 
perform in front of our home supporters, hopefully we can get the same outcome, if not the same scoreline. They're having a tricky spell at the minute, struggling for consistency. Is is it a favourable time to be facing them? Time will tell. Um, again, I don't think there's, there's a specific good time to, to play anybody. Is it a favourable time to play us with players we have missing? There can be arguments that way. It, it makes no difference, really. You, you play against everyone twice. You play them at different times of the year. Sometimes in a good form. Um, we can look back a few games and ask Newport, was it a good time to, to face us? Having won 12 games on the bounce, maybe it was because sometimes you get some, at some point you're going to lose. Maybe it's not because it's a team in form. So, regardless of what they've done over, like I say, the recent past, they've had a few a few sticky results. It still doesn't change change what they do. They have big threats um, and, and playing a, a way that asks questions of you. They're heavily dominant in terms of possession, um, and I suppose they've come into this league almost with a wet sail and, and, and carried on where they were from last year in terms of winning, winning football matches and getting over 100 points in, in the National League and have taken that taken that forward. Um, maybe teams are spotting weaknesses and spotting areas where they can get, get joy just as much as they will be in terms of getting used to this league and, and what it brings. So you have to, like I say, you have to embrace that. Everyone's going to go through sticky patches over the course of a, course of a season. I still think that come the back end of the season, they'll be right up there competing. Um, and I'm sure it will be a, a really, really good uh, good game in terms of how two teams go about it for this level of football. Just finally, it's the last home game of the year. Is there a standout memory for you from, from 2023 and, and have your message for the county fans ahead of Christmas? There's loads of standouts. I, I've had to write my programme notes for the Mansfield game um, prior to this week, this weekend's game. So that is a review really of, of 2023 and what, and what it looks like. Majority of ups, obviously the big disappointment of Wembley, but 18,000 Stockport fans going going there and us becoming or coming one header in Aki's scenario or one penalty kick away from back to back promotions was a huge disappointment, but a real a real high in terms of what we achieved. Um, we've lost, I think, one league game at Edgley Park over the over the calendar year, which says quite a lot about the strength of. Our, our home form and the strength of our, of our crowd um, and we hope that this little segment sets us up really really nicely for 2024 I think it will be a, a really really optimistic look at what next year looks like um, with hopefully some, some more brilliant memories and, and, and more success Absolutely, thanks for your time Dave and all the best tomorrow Welcome, cheers, thank you